I'd like to create a delicious dish for my man. So in doing so, I have to think about him, right? He is from a family of farmers, so it's gonna have to be home cooked for him. Nothing store bought. He's also a vegetarian, so no meat in this dish. He works out at CrossFit, so he's going to like something with a little bit of protein in it, maybe. He's a bit of a chef himself, so it's gonna have to be good with a very good balance of fat and sweet. So I'm gonna pick a healthy snack and make maple pecans. Let's see if my selection fits the man. What's beautiful about my building? I'm working today with marine colony condominiums of Pompano Beach, but feel free to follow along for your own building. We're here to summarize the last three videos into three bullet points about marine colony architecture that will enable us to answer any and all questions about selecting the absolute best possible exterior paint color combinations for this building. Which features of the Marine Colony building are the most beautiful so we know what to emphasize with paint color? That. That is the most beautiful thing about Marine Colony. It might seem counterintuitive. How could the landscaping hold more weight than the building? But it does. Did you notice? It's right in this area right here that holds the most interest with the tree. Why? Contrast. This is the area where the dark curvy angular branches of the tree contrast the light straight horizontal lines of the roof. That contrast is created by change. Change from the repetition is like an accented note emphasizing something different saying look here here's another planter at marine colony notice the curved lines and natural organic shape of the landscaping is contrasted beautifully by the square straight planter all we have to remember are these three things when selecting paint colors for marine colony number one landscaping is the focus number two the building is background number three the brick is the buddy now what do i mean by that i think it's safe to say the basic principles of good design are balance harmony and unity at marine colony there's this dance between the landscaping and the brick always a balance between the two let me show you what i mean look at this example landscaping is the front main focus the brick is the body in the background a supportive role here's another example landscaping is the main emphasis the brick is the clay pot and three landscaping is the showpiece the main attraction and the brick is the natural background. So how does this help us with color? We haven't looked at any colors yet, Amanda, I can hear you saying. Trust the process. The beauty you create with color is in the understanding of what you're coloring. You can't cook a man's favorite meal without knowing the man. In the same way, we can't select the most beautiful color foundation makeup for a woman Without knowing the woman, color is intimately related to what you're putting it on. Likewise, we can't pick beautiful colors for a building without intimately knowing its architecture and, dare I say, even the people who inhabit it. Because color is only emphasizing the vibe of what is already there and or maybe de-emphasizing what does not align. Have you noticed? I spend a lot more time talking about the building than the final color suggestions. That is the work. Maybe you thought selecting colors would be about 
looking at a bunch of paint chips. It's get to know your building. The building is going to tell you the best colors. We have to learn how to listen to the building. Become the building whisperer. It's not the colors I like personally or what you like. It's what the building likes. Now you have a plan, you're prepared, and you're ready to perform. You know what that sound is. Number one, emphasis happens when there's change or repetition. Change, okay, that was too easy for you. Number two, do we want to contrast the brick and draw attention to it or blend with it? We want to contrast the brick and emphasize it. The brick is the body. The more you try to hide it, the more out of place it's going to look. More on columns later. And finally, number three, Marin County could add some landscaping at the front entrance or the planters on 14th Street. The main entrance is a great place to accent with some new landscaping. Have a colorful day, my friends.